once you've performed all the, all the daily visual inspections on your Titan 875, you can go ahead and f start filling your water box by either plugging in your garden hose setup, which connects here, and you, your garden hose will have a connection that goes on this side. Or you can go, if you have a water box, a fresh water box, you can go ahead and turn your pump system on. The next thing you would do is connect your cleaning tool. It's a, we have our vacuum here. And connect your solution to the machine. And depending on whether you're going to be doing pressure washing or if you're doing carpet cleaning, you would use your pressure washing port up here or your carpet cleaning port here. For carpet cleaning, you'd connect here one. Once you have that connected, you can rest this aside. After you do that, you make sure your diverter valve is set to heat bypass, so switch it off. Your pump clutch should be also off. And if you're using an APO, chances are it'll be off anyway because you haven't vacuumed anything, so there should be nothing in your curb tank yet. Um, set your heat setting to low. Make sure your throttle valve is set to idle. And once you have all of those set, you can go ahead and start the machine by pressing the start button. Press it until the machine starts. Allow it to warm up for about one or two minutes. Once you've started the machine and the machine is warmed up, then you'll want to go ahead and go to the settings. We recommend you refer to page 3-6 of your service manual to figure out what settings you'll be using for what type of configuration. So a guy might be using three ones or two ones, whatever the situation, and you're doing upholstery. You, you need to figure out what settings you need before you start the machine. You don't want the machine running and burning gasoline while you're trying to figure out which setting you're going to be using. So go ahead and set your settings. Uh, your throttle is probably the first thing you're going to end up adjusting. Um, set it to low, medium, or high. You never want to run the machine pulling vacuum at idle. It will cause d damage to your truck mount. So go ahead and set your throttle setting to whatever you're going to be using. You'll also want to set your pressure selector. If you're going to be pressure cleaning using the top port, you'll go ahead and set your set to pressure washing mode. That means you won't be heating the water, so it will be cool water, but that will allow you to go to the much higher pressures needed for surface cleaning. So if you're doing carpet cleaning, set it to pressure to carpet mode and you're going to be adjusting your temperatures based on the settings we discussed, mentioned for page 3-6 of your service manual. Um, you'll also have small pressure adjustment here and temperature adjustment here, again determined by page 3-6 of the service manual. Once you have everything set to what you want it to, um, if you're going to be using a, an automatic pump out or APO pump, you can go ahead and switch that on and then you'll want to turn your chemical selector valve on. So once you've set the suction hose into your chemical bucket, set your chemical selector valve to the prime position, and you're going to want to plug the vacuum ports on your recovery tank. So some of you guys will have a remote mount which is mounted at the door to the, the truck. So you'll want to go ahead and plug your ports using the provided plugs or if you have multiple ports and don't have enough plugs for it, you can use the bottom of your, your lube can. Just stick it over the top to make sure you block off the ports. That should allow the vacuum to go up to about 12 to 14 inches of vacuum. That will help suck and help with purging the air out of the solution. You don't want air going in there because then you'll either end up with streaking or spots on your carpets. Once the chemical is purged and all the air bubbles are out, you can switch the chemical selector valve to on or the chemical switch valve to on, and then you'll adjust it using your chemical metering control, this knob right here. Once you have, a, have your level set and you have everything on and is running properly, then you can go ahead and start cleaning. 